we were proud and honored to set the um, all-time conference consecutive wins record of 103, um, and that was a record that was started in, uh, or the, the streak was started in the 2001 season, my first year as head coach, and um, has been carried on throughout the years, um, and then this year's team, the 2016-17 team, was the first team that, that broke it, uh, oh, the only team that could break it, and um, so that's a proud moment for our program, it's, it's a record that's shared by um, all the players that have played in that in that time, uh, and one that we can continue to add to. Um, very proud moment for our, our other guys that are here now, but also equally important, if not more, for all the guys that have come before them and, and have made this thing possible. Yeah, I'm pretty familiar with, with a lot of the teams because I grew up right around the corner, so I, I've known what Cabrini Lacrosse has been about for a while. They've always been a blue-collar, hard-working team. They want to uh, you know, outwork you on the field. They're going to grind you down. They're going to be physical with you, and I think that's still the way we're, we're playing. Um, and that, that's just kind of been a staple of what Cabrini Lacrosse is. And I think if you ask any coaches around the country, that will be their, their answer as well. You know, this year's team uh, has been, uh, I mean, from, from last year, they've brought back a lot of players. And they've, you know, they've really committed to the process. I mean, how, if you're going to win a, that many consecutive straight games, you know, it's not that you're winning one game. It's that you're winning the daily battles every single day. You know, these kids come to practice. They work in the off season. They work hard in season, and um, you know, it's just it's the process. Um, they have a lot of these guys have committed themselves to the long term process. So coming into Cabrini, you know, um, one thing that stood out is the rich lacrosse tradition it had here. Um, so it's definitely was something that I wanted to be a part of, um, knowing that every year that I'll be competing, competing for a championship and playing. Uh, lacrosse at the highest level in Division Three. With that comes a, a winning culture, and when you're winning and you're having success every year, the team's only going to come together. Um, winning brings out the best in everybody, and it forms a great bond and culture that we certainly have here at Cabrini. It's much more than just the team. You know, it's the whole athletic department, the administration, the the student, the student. Uh, fan base and you know that doesn't it's not just we roll the ball out and the guys on the field are playing that's a part of it but it's much bigger it's also goes into our strength and conditioning program it goes into our academic advisors and, and you don't usually have success on the field without success in the classroom so all these things are little tiny pieces that add up, add up to the big picture and, and winning is the big picture for us as coaches but as players it's being successful in the classroom you know in the Cabrini community and then you know, when you put it all together, that success translates onto the field. When this record started, no, not a single player on our roster was on that team. You know, when when they hit 50 wins, nobody on our team was on that team. So, it's great, and it's it's shown the success of the program. But I think the kids on our team and the coaches as well are really focused on the greater goal: get to a Final Four, win a national championship, and you know, because that's the biggest goal and that's the the, the biggest stage in our sport and that's where we want to be uh, I would actually say you know the, the consecutive conference wins just comes a part of really striving for that goal I don't think our kids are going to rest because they've won a bunch of conference games I think their real goal what they're striving for is you know ultimately whatever it wants is just, which is a national championship uh, we always make the next game the most important game of the season um, we never are looking to pass anyone and I think that's just our mentality and our preparation the way we practice each week uh, you know the last thing we say when we leave the locker room after you know a game is we, we bring it in and we uh, talk about our team we talk about our goals how we're going to do it together and our goal is, is winning the next game and when we say that program's name out loud uh, and that keeps us focused on that game you know not two games down the road not three games down the road not a game that we deem as the biggest game of the season a month from now but that next game and I think that's always been our mentality and our preparation and that's what we kind of uh, you know really hammer home with our players on a day-to-day -day basis uh, this is my first year on the team so it's it's been a, it's been I believe what 16 straight seasons of uh, you know consecutive conference wins, um, and I mean the one obvious uh, you know factor that's always been the same is that Coach Colfer's been you know the the head coach um, in charge of everything, and you know he's just done a wonderful job um, you know working with players, recruiting, 
you know, and really building a program, um, you know, a, a program, and it, and it shows longevity and sustainability and, you know, proven process. I, th I think it's just a testament to Coach Colfer and what he's done here at Cabrini with the lacrosse team. Um, he's been here for a while and, you know, it is also just a testament of uh, our hard work and dedication each year to, to get better. Um, you know, you don't want to take steps back as a program. So to have the continued success is um, awesome. And it's just a testament to Coach Colfer and what he's done in, in recruiting. And um, each year the guys coming out and, uh, you know, uh, showing their dedication and hard work every year. So Coach Colfer has done a great job uh, establishing a culture here in the lacrosse team of winning, um, and it's stretched for well over a decade at this point. Um, and, you know, it's something that's been here before I got here, and I'm sure will be here long after I'm gone.